Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to talk about the letter P, the letter Q, the letter R, and the digraph double R. Let's begin. The letter P in Spanish, P. P. This letter has the same P sound as in English. And with the vowels, it sounds like this. Pa, pe, pi, po, pu. Again, pa, pe, pi, po, pu. Let's learn some words. País, país, country. Pes, pes. Fish. Pirata. Pirata. Pirate. Poema. Poema. Poem. Pulpo. Pulpo. Octopus. The letter P has two consonant clusters. PL and PR. The syllables are pla, ple, pli, plo, plu, and pra, pre, pri, pro, pru. Let's learn some words. Planeta. Planeta. Planet. Plomero, plomero, plumber. Práctica, práctica, practice. Pregunta, pregunta, question. Problema, problema, problem. Moving on, the letter Q. This letter has the same K sound as in English. Now this letter in Spanish has to be accompanied by the letter U and it forms a digraph because the U will be silent. There are two syllables, K, Ki. Again, K, Ki. These syllables are Q-U-E and Q-U-I. And those are the only syllables with the letter Q. Now that is how we pronounce them. K, Ki. So when you see a last name like Vasquez, remember, it's Vasquez, not Vasquez. We don't pronounce the letter U, okay? It's just like the word Mosquito or tequila is the same thing. We do not say mosquito, right? So the same rule applies. Let's learn some words. Paquete. Paquete. Package. Queso. Queso. Cheese. Maquillaje. Maquillaje. Makeup. Cosquillas. Cosquillas. Tickling. Let's move on to the letter R. The letter R in Spanish is R or R. It has two sounds, a strong sound and a soft sound. The strong sound is ra. So with the vowels, will sound like this. Ra, re, ri, ro, ru. Again, ra, re, ri, ro, ru. Don't worry too much about rolling the R's, as long as you can make an effort and sound 
uh, very similar. Now, when do we use the strong sound? Well, when the R is at the beginning of the word, like raton, raton, mouse, it also happens when the R is within a word and is behind a consonant that will end up in a different syllable when you separate the word. For example, sonrisa, sonrisa, smile. It also happens when the R is within a word and is behind a consonant that will end up in a different syllable when you separate the word. For example, sonrisa, sonrisa, smile. The soft sound of the R is da, da, with the vowels, da, re, di, do, do happens when the R is within a word and none of the previous conditions are met or when the R is at the end of the word. For example, cara, cara, face, lugar, lugar, place. I know it's a little complicated, but remember, you can always rewatch this portion to learn the rule and practice. Let's move on to the last letter or diagraph, double R. Double R was part of the Spanish alphabet at one point, but just like the other double letters that we already seen, it was taken out and made into a diagraph. Now, the double R has a strong sound, a ra, and with the vowels, sounds like this. Ra, re, ri, ro, ru. Again, ra, re, ri, ro, ru. This letter will always be in the middle of the word. You will never see a word in Spanish beginning with a double R. Let's learn some words. Guitarra. Guitarra. Guitar. That word is good to practice both diagraphs, the G-U-I and the double R. Next word. Barrera. Barrera. Barrier. Carril, carril, lane, barro, barro, mud, serrucho, serrucho, handsaw. Remember to Keep practicing and remember to rewatch so you can follow along and practice that pronunciation over and over. Before you go, let's go to the exit ticket. You will have three seconds to read in Spanish the following exercises. Queso. Ratón. Cara, plomero, paquete. I know this lesson had some complicated rules and some complicated pronunciation too for English speakers, but I hope you did great and I will see you in the next lesson.